Hey everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila. I am here to do the April, <coughs> excuse me, 2016 money and luck reading for the Leo. Okay, so um, this is a quick five card spread. You can um, visit my website if you want to purchase a personalized reading. Um, also, my website is back up. Okay, um, it was down earlier, so I do apologize for that. And make sure that you subscribe to my Gypsy Tarot channel. Um, I also want to apologize for disabling the uh, comments and the ratings. Um, there's just some people, um, you know, commenting that don't really understand, um, you know, the the my my spiritual beliefs. So um, it's probably best to just shut down the comments. But I am available by chat. Okay, on my website. So if you go to my website, um, you can just click on chat now or send me an email and you can definitely contact me there. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, shuffle the cards for the Leo for April 2016. Okay, show me the Leo's current financial situation. Um, also show me. Um, will money be coming into Leo's life very soon? Um, which money opportunities should Leo consider more closely? Or what project will bring in more money and the outcome? your cards um, again this is a personal I'm sorry again this is a general reading so it may not resonate with all of you okay so I do recommend a personalized reading this is just a general reading okay so your first card Leo is the magician So with this card, you know, I can see that, you know, you've got some major stuff going on. Okay, this is a major life event, also a major life lesson. Uh, the Magician is the first card of the Zodiac. It is the number zero of the Zodiac. <clears throat> it's about a new trip beyond the limits towards something greater. So you are... I mean, there's a lot of symbolism in this, um, but you can definitely see that um, you Leos are using your mind, okay, to manifest. Um, the Magician card to come up in the present position for you <clears throat> is a really good sign. Um, I'm sorry, it's number one in the tarot. Sorry, I said zero. That's the full card. Um, this is showing that you're confident, you're creative, you're communicating well, um, you're talented. Um, the magician uh, associates with intelligent and skillful communicators. His presence in your spread indicates a level of self-confidence and drive, which allows you to translate ideas into action. A practical card, the revelations it brings are best applied to the pragmatic and physical aspects of your life rather than the ephemeral or theoretical, okay? Your success in upcoming ventures in politics or business will likely hinge upon your own strength of will and determination. So for this to come up in the uh, what's with what's going on right now, um, presently there is a need for your knowledge and skills to influence the changes that are coming. In order to make the changes beneficial, you must play your cards right. So this is saying, Take your own advice. You already know what you need to do. Okay? So you need to just do it. All right? So that's a really good card to get, you guys. Um, card number two for the Leo um, is will money be coming into your life very soon? And you did get the three of chalices. And so that means yes. <clears throat> yes, it will be. Um, the three of chalices is um, a lot of joy. Um, 
um, you know, you're kicked back, you're relaxed, you're having drinks with your friends, you're enjoying life. There's a lot of um, nice things surrounding you. Um, I can see for some of you Leos, um, you're going to start entertaining more in the month of April <clears throat> and entertaining people in your house. This is the joy of true friendship. Okay? So this is a really, really um, positive card. The Three of Cups. Um, it's also the card of reunions. So there's some, re some, some energies that are reuniting for you this month, Leo. Um, it's not always romantic, but it could point to that. You know, um, especially judging by your other cards. Um, it's also a time of celebration. So that's a, a definite yes for you. Okay. Um, the Three of Cups shows that you've definitely been, especially with the with the magician coming up. Um, you. This is a fertility card. So you have been... Um, making sure that your energy is of that of a person that can um, grow and celebrate and be happy, okay? Um, it could indicate a birth, maybe a birth of a project, maybe a birth of a new relationship. Um, at any rate, this, is, uh, this card brings abundance of love and joy. Um, happy gatherings or celebrations um, and then also it's associated with uh, loving celebrations and close relationships so the answer is yes okay um, you're going to see a lot of your success in the month of July this is when the reunion is going to happen there's going to be some sort of reunion and it doesn't surprise me because the energies are that are present around you um are very very loving so um, definitely a reunion in July and definitely some money coming in the next couple of weeks um, also money um, it looks like long-term uh, money for you also so for you to get this in a future position it means the desire to help people will factor greatly into your considerations and you will take greater joy in a significant role among your community a full life lies ahead of you to be celebrated by the ones who love you. So I also see you, Leos, as getting out there and being the leader that you are. You're going to be um, educating some people. You're going to be, you know, getting the energy that you're going to give out is going to be very positive. And this is why you're going to manifest positive energy into your life. Um, so I can see a definite um, huge 4th of July celebration with fireworks and lots of um, romantic energy and sex with this three because this is about making babies. Um, so some of you Leos will possibly be uh, getting uh, pregnant in July. So if, if, if you do get pregnant in July, <laughs> come back and let me know. Okay? So to get this in a future card just means that you know, you went through a new phase and now you're celebrating. Um, card number three is another good card for you. Leo, you got um, money opportunities that you may wish to consider more closely. And you got the nine of chalices. Okay, so you may want to open up your own store. Leo, I mean, even if it's an online store, just open it up. Um, maybe a physical store to take your business to another level. The Eight of Chalices. means a need for change having depleted something okay it's 
So some of you Leos with this Eight of Cups, you know, um, the Eight of Cups is about, I'm sorry, this isn't the Eight of Cups. This is the Nine of Cups. Sorry, guys. I am a little sleepy, Leos, so please forgive me. That changes the whole meaning. I'm sorry. Many possibilities or rewards, all good to choose from. So you have a lot of different choices, Leo. The world is your oyster. And I can also see you having a lot of different things to choose from. A lot of different, you know, a lot of different choices with this uh, Nine of Cups. Yeah, the Eight of Cups is not a good card. The Nine of Cups is wonderful. Sorry about that, guys. And I get the sense that that you Leos, you laid down some seeds in March, sometime, you know, mid to early March. And it looks like those seeds are growing because you got the nine. This is about being complete, being fulfilled being satisfied with where your life is going in general which means that you definitely got some good luck around you Leo as far as what I'm seeing what business opportunities I think that the, the advice that I would give to you Leo um, with this nine of cups is to just choose the one that resonates with you, following your heart, um, staying true to your desires and your beliefs. And this is what you're going to, I say go for what gives you the most satisfaction and it'll flourish. Right now I feel like you're at a toss up between something that pays a lot. But it doesn't really give you any overall contentment and peace of mind. So my suggestion is whatever, whatever, whatever you're considering as a choice, you need to make sure that it's something that you enjoy doing. Because that is true happiness and freedom when you do what you love to do. <laughs> um, okay, so card number four is who or what project will bring in more money. So I see a collaboration. <clears throat> I see you working with others, Leo. Um, I would say that, again, there's so many different choices for you, Leo. There's so many different things that you can do that you would be good at. But I think that what this card is, is ultimately saying <clears throat> is that as long as you make sure that you are welcoming to the different energies and make sure that you're open to diversity um, when you're closed minded and when you don't have the personality to draw people into you and to make them respond well to you then that could be a possible issue, but um, I can see with this Six of Wands, what I'm seeing with this is you realizing that we're all one and you just taking those energies and combining them. So as far as what particular project I would say again the one that's going to make that's going to be true to you but to be more specifically it's whatever one that is going to require for you to be around people and to talk to people Leo you are a star you do not need to be like hiding behind like a computer you need to be out there doing stuff talking to people leading people guiding people so whatever it is that's going to require for you to be a leader is what you need to go for. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. I'm trying to cough because I got a tickle in my throat. I got that post-nasal drip. I hate it. But 
six of wands. Success that comes from uniting different energies. Successful meditation. Okay. So also make sure that you're taking the time to meditate. Now, your final outcome for the month is the moon card. Okay. This card shows that you're going to be experiencing a wave of emotions around the full moon. And Leo, I don't want you to get scared because Leos are really sensitive and they're so sensitive that they're that they will roar at you like a lion, literally. Uh-oh, what happened to my music? So as far as with the new moon, I'm sorry, the full moon, we're actually going to be having a strawberry moon. No, no, no. Um, that's another one. Um, the next full moon is going to be April the 7th. So it's in four days. Wow. So there's a major um, life event coming up in four days. You're going to be experiencing a lot of emotions. You're going to be very connected to the moon. And we're supposed to be having um, some sort of special moon this month. So also make sure that you take the time to meditate and, and, and that you uh, take the time to take advantage of the full moon, the energies from the full moon. There goes, there goes me sneezing. Um, the pagan tarot, in the pagan tarot, the moon is regaining control of your emotions, distinguishing true from false. So, this is a very positive reading now. In the, in the traditional tarot, um, the moon card stands for some really negative trickery energies, okay? Um, and these energies are trying to cause paranoia. These energies are trying to cause you to um, feel as though, you know, you're, you know, just a negativity. And this card is showing your ability, Leo, to um, um, not only use that energy towards something positive, but also knowing that knowing that this person is just tricking you and lying to you. Okay, so in about four days, there's going to be an event that's going to come up on around the full moon. Um, somebody's going to do something to you know, bring you down or to make you feel paranoid or insecure, but you are going to um, distinguish, you're going to know that they're lying and you're going to regain control of your emotions. This person might piss you off, but you're going to recover very quickly. Um, it may not even bother you at all. But those emotions um, this is a cancer card. So those emotions that you're experiencing are actually going to be to your benefit. Okay? And it's and it's going to work well with your emotions with the moon. Especially with the full moon. Um, so that's going to conclude your reading. Um, if you need a more personalized reading, I do recommend it. This is just a general reading. Um, 
Check out my website. It's in the video description box. Also, make sure that you subscribe to my Gypsy Tarot. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.